But if I go here, my score is going to go up to one. And then if I go ahead and touch this one, my second checkpoint, but if I go and fall off, I still spawn here. So I'm good to go. And if I go back, I'm still good. I It's your boy Rishraf and welcome back to another episode. Today we do have the checkpoint system. Now as you just saw, that's how it works. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we need to do is make that little leaderboard that you did see. I'm also thinking of making a video where you can disable the leaderboard but still have it if you guys know what I mean. So it would still work and you're like, what's the point of that? Well, the point would be that you can save the player's scores and everything and still have that information via leader stats. It's just, it won't be visible to the player. So I'm just making a short little leader stats, something that we've done before, nothing. It's not a big deal. Uh, so while you guys are just copying this down, I was thinking of not putting the code and the place in the description because there's a lot of people who need want to learn how to do this. And I just feel like it's a lot easier to just take the code but like not learn it and like that's the point for you guys to learn it so i'm not really sure uh i'll decide when i release this video so we're just gonna be calling this score score.value so i did want to tell you guys that i have a website called limitless gamer so if you guys want to go support so this right here is leader stats done we will be calling it score whatever you guys want to call it it's right here don't change it right here you guys can call it checkpoint score. I'm going to be calling it score, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and name this leader stats. And then we're going to need to make our little obby. To make our little obby, uh, we need to have something that not kills the player, but we're not doing any killing right now. Uh, that sounds really, really bad. So I don't know if it's a studio bug or not, but like my properties can't go under my explorer anymore like it used to. So that's kind of weird, but we need to go ahead and unlock this base plate if you notice you can't really like click it you have to oh i just clicked off you have to find it in the explorer tab so we're gonna take locked off now we can easily click it and i think that's it for that and then we'll be adding a script so this is a total of three scripts they're not long at all so what we're gonna do is we need our little spawns here now you don't have to use spawn locations i am for the purpose of this video and then what we're going to do is I'll color code them so you can see. So you might think, okay, spawn one, spawn two, spawn three. No, actually we need to spawn zero first. So I'm going to go and name this zero. Um, I'm going to keep everything on. We're, we don't have any teams or whatever. So I'm gonna just going to make this like red for the main one. And then I'm going to go ahead and dupe this. So when I dupe it, uh, I'm going to just put it relatively close, preferably not touching it. Uh, I'm going to change a different color. This is just so you guys can see. You don't have to change the colors one bit. You can leave it all the same color. It's just, I'm doing it so you can see that like I'm using different spawns, right? So the only thing I'm really doing is just taking this uh, and just naming it zero, one, two, three. This is the bait, this is how you'll do it. So you'll make it like zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll just go up to like 60 or whatever you guys want to go up to like 69 or like, or like up to even 420. Like it doesn't really matter. I'm just color coding them just so you guys can see. For three, two, and one, for every one except for zero, make sure you turn neutral off. There, now that you turn neutral off, it'll make it so that way you mostly spawn on red. I'll cover a spawn location tutorial in Nils Mill. I do apologize if you can hear any background noise. So now that we have these, yeah, now that you have all your spawns, go ahead and select them all, right click, and go to group. Now the model name, this is important, but you don't have to name it the same as me. I'm just gonna call it spawns. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the server script service, you're gonna go to scripts. And then once you do that, you're just gonna write a little short 13 line code right here. You're gonna say local players equals game get service. You'll know you're doing it right when it auto completes. So players, then we'll skip a line or two and we'll say wait one. I like to just wait so we don't take up so much uh, CPU. And we'll say in pairs workspace. Now this is why it's important, spawns. You'll notice that we're finding spawns right here. We'll say spawns get children. And it recognizes it, it's a model. So that way we're good to go. We'll say v.touched connect function. We'll say hit. And we'll skip a line. 
should auto add two ends or you should have two ends and we're almost done with this one we'll say find first child this is a basic hit you know uh, you guys can find these in basically all my videos I'll say local PLR equals players get player from character honestly it's just really routine basic stuff right now I'm just putting it in a way that you guys can understand and we'll say player dot leader stats that's no capitals in there score so if you guys have something called checkpoints if you guys have something called money this is where you'd put it in I named mine capital S score right here so that's why I'm putting capital S score don't forget to put dot value and we'll say if it's less than two number and then we'll say V dot name this is why it's really important I'll show you guys what we just did I like to write the code then show you uh, what we do with the code. So we'll say two number v dot name. Okay, touch each spawn. So what this is gonna do is for every spawn in that model, when you touch it, make sure you only have spawns. Don't put anything else in there. It's gonna glitch it. V dot uh, touched. So every spawn that you do, it's gonna get the player. It's gonna get how much score they have. So zero, one, two, three. So I start off at zero. So when I start off at zero, if my score is less than what I touch, so if I touch one, zero is less than one, so that way it's gonna say if it is less, then go ahead and change their score to the one we just touched. So if I go from zero and I touch one, I'll go from one, but if I go from one to zero, one is not less than zero, so I won't go back. So this way you can only go up. If you did wanna some, for some reason go back, you would just flip the sign to uh, greater than. On to the next script, so this, you can put it in the base plate. I am just putting it right now. We're just going to be calling it as the respawn. Uh, I highly suggest you just make your own part and anchor it underneath. So in the respawn script, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going uh, 10 lines actually. So local players, the exact same setup as uh, before in the checkpoint script. So we'll say players. And this is great for your obby just make sure that you follow everything that I'm saying right now this is not saving so before you guys are like oh my god when I load in I don't spawn yeah this I'm telling you right now this is not for saving if we can get this video up to well first of all if you're still watching right now please leave a comment saying I have watched or just just say something like you're awesome or just be like I don't know I'm just say I have watched the part where you told me to watch or something because i want to know how many of you like actually watch um so that way i know if i could make videos um that you guys want to watch workspace so let's say spawns make sure it auto completes if you say workspace out spawns and it does not auto complete rewind the video you did something wrong spawns and we'll say find a first not okay hold on we'll say find first child sorry about that then we'll open parenthesis, we'll say two string. That should light up. If these don't light up, if that doesn't light up, then your um, editor is reading something wrong and then you need to rewrite the script. Sometimes they will not light up because it's detecting another error. Most of the time it's because you didn't make this local or you didn't put it then here or you didn't put an end here. Uh, it's just the basic fundamentals. And then we'll say plr.respawn so you're like where did respawn location come from each player has a unique respawn location i found that when i was making this it doesn't really work i just do it as a safety uh, because you need to know that we don't kill the player when um they fall off we just respawn them uh to save time so we'll say respawn place remember this should auto complete dot position capital p plus vector three dot new and then we'll say zero two and then you'll notice how it says number x y z that's because in math you have the x y and z axes and those are all the planes that you can uh, configure three-dimensional objects on what this script does is when we hit it so if we're human whatever we have the basics uh, we're gonna find the respawn so when we hit it Go ahead and set the location of the ob of the player to wherever their highest value is. So, for example, if I touch two and then I fall off, our highest place that we reached was two. We're gonna say plr dot character dot human root part position equals the respawn place, which is 
we're finding the respawn place by where the checkpoint is and then we'll say that position plus two uh, y you notice that the middle number is y that's because we want to spawn a little bit higher if we spawn exactly at the spawn location we would literally glitch inside of it and that is not something that we want so without further ado let's go ahead and test this okay so you'll notice that i did spawn at this spawn location right off the bat and then my score is at zero so if i go and fall off here i'm gonna spawn back but if i go here my score is gonna go up to one and then if i go ahead and touch this one my second checkpoint but if i go and fall off i still spawn here so i'm good to go and if i go back I'm still good. I spawn at the farthest place where I've reached and then boom, I still spawn here and then so forth. So thank you guys so much for watching. A few things I just want to say, please go ahead and watch the full videos, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, the more watch time the channel gets, the more popular it can get and the more videos I can make. And please, please, I am for hire. Go and hit my Discord uh, in the questions for Rishraf channel. Um, a few extra things is I'm making a game. I'm actually involved in making a really big game. It's backed by RDC, backed by Roblox, and additionally, it has 15 devs. Uh, we're looking for also more scripters, even though I, I'm part of scripting the whole game. Uh, it's obviously a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. The game's called Infinite Driver. I'll leave a link to the fan group uh, below, and I will leave a link to the actual place. And please, 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 guys, make a purchase on Limitless Gamer. It is funding my new game, and it is funding a new um, computer for me, so that way I can make videos a lot faster, better quality, and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to just watch my videos. The watch time really helps me make more videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace!